Welcome everyone if you're new here and welcome back if you're returning here. This is going to be a brief video on how to spot a fake Benchmade knife. I'm kind of going to walk you through the process that I go through every time I buy a Benchmade uh, just to make sure that it's authentic and the steps that I take to prevent myself from being scammed. So I hope this is helpful to people who may not know a whole lot about Benchmade or just buying knives in general and, and hopefully it helps them um, protect themselves from being scammed. Um, the very first thing that, that I'm going to talk about is kind of just, you know, where um, and, and how to go about the, the whole process of buying a knife or a Benchmade online or in-store without getting uh, scammed and just going through that. We're going to then talk about the box, um, and then we'll end with some uh, things to look for on the knife. So again, I hope this is helpful to those of you that are um, looking for this. I hope it's a reference point. If there's anything that I miss at any point in the video, please just leave a comment and I will be happy to either update the video or, um, you know, just add it in the description just to help people that, that don't really know what they're looking for, help them kind of get familiar with everything and, and know what, you know, what should I be looking for? So what I will say, um, a lot of people online bash eBay and bash a lot of these online stores or bash buying used Benchmades, uh, but I think the prices of Benchmade are so ridiculous that it makes buying on eBay or buying secondhand really tempting. Um, I'm not going to deny that. I, I don't ever buy any of my Benchmades at full price. I'll just wait for them to go on sale or I'll look for a used one that, that I can hold that I will be able to tell if it's fake or not. Um, but the, the best way to prevent yourself from being scammed, obviously, is to buy from an authorized dealer. However, either even when you're buying from an authorized dealer, you need to be careful because a lot of times, um, there, there, I wouldn't say a lot of times, but there are a lot of stories online or you can talk to people. I've talked to several people that this has happened to um, or that they work at these stores and we'll see it happening. People will go in, they'll buy a Benchmade, they will take it out of the box, they will throw a fake in the box and just return it um, and get their money back. So that this is just something you need to be wary of, um, especially at, like the big box retailers that sell Benchmade, like Cabela's, Bass Pro Shop, um, I think like Academy or some of the other places. They don't really know what they're looking for. You know, they're kind of just employees there. It's not like they're the ones that are actively um, trying to get a partnership with Benchmade and become a dealer and sell them. Uh, they might not really know anything about them, which is fine. Uh, but a lot of times at some of the smaller, more like the, the smaller local dealer that I go to, I know he checks for fakes. He knows that that happens and he knows what to look for. Um, so just that's something to be careful. Even if you are buying from an authorized dealer, you still should. This, I, I still check. Um, this is the exact thing that I, that I go through. This is what I look for when I'm um, buying. But again, on eBay, a lot of times people will just post a picture of the knife that they're selling and you can easily tell that it's fake if they post it with a box. The box is oftentimes a big tell that it's a fake. But sometimes on eBay, they will just post um, the Benchmade website's photos as their you know, pictures of the knife. So even on eBay, you need to be really careful because you might not always be getting what's in the picture. Um, and, and eBay does have good buyer protection and you'll be able to you know, get your money back and, and um, report the, the seller. But still, you don't want to take the chance of um, buying a fake if you're able to point it out beforehand. So... Very first thing that I do, um, let's say I'm I'm I want to buy a we'll just say an Adamus. I was recently looking for an Adamus. Um, I will go online, so I'll go usually to eBay or to some other websites where you can buy used, and I'll just start looking through the listings um, and I'll mark them. But what I'm looking for, first of all, I'm making sure that they post a picture with the box. So this is not the um, Adamus box, but this is the box for the bailout. Um, First of all, I'm going to make sure that it's the correct box. So I know the Adamus is like their tactical line. It's part of the black class. So I know it should come in a black box. Benchmade has three classes, the black class, the blue class, and the gold class of knives. So there are these boxes. I don't have a gold class, but this is what the blue box should look like. This is what the black box should look like. And on there, it will say black class right here. Similarly, on the blue class, it will say blue class. Um, when it comes to the hunt version knives, so the tagged out, there's some like other different kinds of knives that come in the hunt box. Um, I was really worried when I first bought this. I bought this on Black Friday on on sale, like thirty percent off from somewhere, and I got it in the mail. Um, it was from a it was from an authorized dealer, and it said blue class on here, and I like started freaking out. I went online. 
read up a bunch. Um, a lot of people did think, you know, okay, that's that's fake. But it turns out this is the Hunt series, not a Hunt class. So it still should say blue class. So your Hunt box should say blue class. Uh, but know if you're supposed to be getting a Hunt box with your knife. Sometimes, you know, you just just make sure you know what you're what you're looking for. Um, so the tagged out again. I know if I'm looking for a tagged out, I know I'm I want to make sure it's the correct box. So it should be a hunt box. But back to the Adamas. I know it's a black box. Um, I know that you know. Okay, the box should have this white sticker here. The sticker should come up and go over. It will always go onto the front of the box. Your box will always look like this. It will have the model number at the very top. It'll have the model like name. So it'll it'll say Adamas. Like this says bailout. So this is for the bailout. Um, it will have like the, the uses for it. It will have the steel and it will have whether it's manual, assisted, or automatic. On the other side of the sticker, it will have, like I just showed, black glass, blue glass, gold glass. And it will have the date that your knife was manufactured and it will reiterate with the Benchmade logo, the model number, and the model name. So it should always look like this. A lot of fakes will put like the Benchmade, this, this Benchmade logo on the front of the sticker up top here. That's usually a bad sign. If it's a font that's different than this, that's usually a bad sign. Um, sometimes the steel will be wrong on the box. Sometimes the model number, the exact model number will be wrong. Um, but that's that should cover it for the box. The, the, the sticker should always come up. The, the Benchmade knife company will be in the middle. It varies. So I think they're coming out with like the water line. The boxes might be different for that. I'm not sure yet. Um, but then on the inside of the box, which is what we'll see hopefully on the pictures online, there will be, in some models, the Benchmade baggie. There will be the paperwork, which should be folded exactly like this. Should look exactly like this. And there will be like this little axis paperwork thing that will, if it's a brand new knife, it will come tucked in there, but that should be in there if it's an axis. Some some Benchmades, the older ones are not, or like the, the shootout is not an axis lock. Um, but just in general, know what should be in your packaging. So for the Adamus, I know that it's supposed to come with this little pouch and this little malice clip thing right here, along with the other paperwork, instead of a bag. Um, so this all should come in the box. Um, now, if you're buying, again, used from somebody, you can't see the box. Maybe this won't come with it, but, but that's fine. In the box, it should come with this. Um, and in the Adamus box, I don't believe there's any foam. So the foam of Benchmade is is another huge tell, but if you're looking for a model that doesn't come with the foam, that's going to be an issue. But So for with the bailout, for example, Benchmade's foam will always look exactly like this. Exactly like this. This is a huge tell. Almost every fake cannot get this right. This is very hard to like recreate foam, I guess, or whatever. I, I don't really know. But the fakes never have foam that looks like this. Um, some knives, again, don't have foam, so it's harder to tell. And some people may be selling fakes in legitimate boxes. So it's not a guarantee that your knife is real if it has this foam, but it means the box is real. So pause this, go look at your box, uh, make sure that you know this is what the foam looks like. And if it doesn't look like that, that means you have a fake box. It doesn't guarantee that you have a fake knife, but it's not a good sign. So if I see, if I'm on eBay and I'm looking through and I see a box and I see you know inside the box just barely and it doesn't have this cutout and it doesn't have this foam, I will just move on because I know it's a fake. I'll, I'll either mark it so I can go back later and report it and, and move on or, or whatever. I'll message the guy and tell him it's a fake. Um, but keep an eye out for that. That's that's a, a very, very common sign that you bought a fake Benchmade is the, the foam in the box. So that's that's about it in terms of the box. Um, that's Those are the, the very big tells. Um, again, it doesn't guarantee that your knife is fake or legitimate if your box is fake or legitimate, but that's how you tell if the box is real. So now we're going to move on to actually holding the knife and, and being able to tell, okay, is this is this a fake? So what I do before I buy a Benchmade is I will go on Benchmade's website, like I mentioned, I think before, I'll know, okay, this is what's supposed to come in the the, uh, the box is the pouch, the maloscope with the Adamus or whatever you're buying. It should come with that. I think like the infidel comes with a little pouch or um, some of them come with different stuff. So I'm going to know what I'm buying. I'm going to know, okay, this is, these are the models that I'm looking at. So this is the Woodland Green Bailout. It's aluminum. It's uh, M4 steel. I know it comes in M4 steel. I know it has the um, small deep carry pocket clip. I know it has the glass breaker on the end of it. 
I know how many screws it has. Um, and I will, I will sit there and I'll compare the, the picture. Well, I don't do that anymore. But when I was first looking, I would just sit there with the picture on one side from the Benchmade website and the listing on the other side and just kind of compare and make sure that they all matched. Um, so I know what I'm looking to buy. I know what steels, I know what models. Um, that's just, just something that's this good practice to, to get into before you're making a big purchase and spending a lot of money on a knife like this. So when I do that, I see, okay, um, I'm on the listing. I'm going to zoom in on the Benchmade uh, logo. And this is uh, not a good example because it's a little faded. We'll use the, the Adamas because it's a better example. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to see, okay, there's the Benchmade logo. It says the model number that I'm looking for. So I know this is the 275 Adamas because I'm on the Benchmade website. I see that the copyright logo right there, the, the R from the copyright, I can't really move it closer, but is very small. On a lot of fakes, the R will be enlarged. It'll be very big because that's this is hard for them to do this precision of laser or whatever this is on there. Um, I know the Benchmade is kind of level. I know it's in the correct spot on the blade because I'm comparing it side by side with the picture what it actually should be. Um, and I know that this is supposed to be a white butterfly. So on another model, so this is the shootout, it's like a, a black-ish, maybe, I don't know, like gray butterfly. But the colors match. I know that's the correct color. I know this is not supposed to be a white butterfly on here. If it's a white butterfly, that means it's a fake. I know that's what it's supposed to look like. I know it's supposed to be raised on the top of the blade. I see the model number. I see the copyright. Okay. Butterfly checks out. The butterfly is good. That's a, a very obvious tell of a fake is, is the butterfly. And you'll get better at spotting them as you do this more and more often. Um, but that's just a very simple way to do it. It's the first thing I look at and it's the first thing a lot of people look at. The second thing, we're going to flip the knife over. Hopefully they have another picture on the website. And if they don't, just ask them to provide another picture. We're going to look at the steel. So I know the Adamus, the modern updated Adamus as of two-ish years ago, comes in crewware steel. So it says CPM crewware. It's in this italicized, correct Benchmade font that matches the website. Um, all these kind of match. It's like that, that they all have the same font for the steel. So we know that's what it's supposed to look like. On the Adamus, I know it's designed by Shane Siebert. Um, you don't have to know who it's designed by, but you should know that there is a logo or is not supposed to be a logo on the blade. So if, in looking at the website, I know that there's supposed to be this Siebert design logo on the um, bottom grind of the blade here. So it says Siebert design. The Griptilian has like the Pardu design right there. You can see that on there. Um, However, some of them will have benchmade.com slash PAT. You can kind of see that on there if the camera will focus. Benchmade.com slash PAT. And on like the tag data, I know that has that too. Benchmade.com slash PAT. So I, I know that that's either supposed to be or not supposed to be on the blade. So I know on the Adamus, that's not supposed to be on there. So if it says that on there, I know this is a fake. Um, and this is, this is again, the updated as of, I think, like two or three years ago Adamus. So this is like the modern one. I'm not sure exactly the old one. Um, but that's, that's something that I look for. So again, the font, if there's supposed to be a logo on the other side of the blade, I know like the infidel has a very big logo. You should know what it looks like. Know if the font and that's correct. Know kind of like the sizing. Um, that's the second thing I'll look for. The third thing I'll look for, um, if we want to get really into the details here, um, on the website, you can see what side the pivot screw is supposed to be on. So the, the pivot screw is showing on the logo side here of the bailout. However, on the Adamus, it does not. So I didn't know that at first. I had to look that up. I went on the website and saw, okay, the pivot screw is not showing on the logo side. It's on the other side. So that's correctly done. That's how it's supposed to be. It just varies from knife to knife. You just need to know what yours is supposed to be. Uh, but again, that's just something to look for. The, the minor details, be, be um, in depth, make sure you're doing your, your research correctly and, and just knowing what to look for. Um, another thing that a lot of fakes will have problems with is the, the coloring of the handles or the blade. So I don't have my 940 Osborne right now. It's in for warranty work, but nine, the 940 is very commonly faked as is the, the bailout, the bug out, the, the newer ones that are popular that have been around for a while. Um, the, the coloring on this is like, it's woodland green officially as I think the, the title of it. 
But on a lot of fakes, it will look more like this kind of olive muted green on the bailout. So if it just kind of looks off, it doesn't really look exactly like the picture. Um, usually that's a, a good sign. You kind of, in, in looking at the pictures on the Benchmade website, it, it should get easier and easier to compare the colors and the coloration of the knife. Um, another thing that I saw uh, at a show this past weekend, I saw some fake 940s being sold that had like this um, FDE coated blade. And so that is just another thing. Um, know if that model has ever existed. And, and as far as I know, I don't think that's ever been um, like a, a legitimate model of Benchmade is like a, a 940 with a FDE blade. So that, I mean, I know that was fake. I know that one was fake because it just was, it was fake. But um, if you're, if you're looking for a more obscure model, make sure that it actually was produced at one point by Benchmade and it's not just something that's completely made up. Um, so we checked the handle, we checked the color of the blade. Um, even if it is supposed to be coated, so like this, the shootout is supposed to be a coated blade. Make sure that the coloring is correct too. This is like, again, um, the FDE blade, but make sure it's not like a lighter yellowy brown and make sure it matches kind of up with the, the picture. So that's just another good um, thing to look for. Um, another detail on some, I can't remember if I mentioned this before or not. On the bailout, we have this glass breaker. Some of the fakes will have the glass breaker on the top. Um, like it'll just be flipped around. Just make sure you kind of know that. Uh, make sure, for example, with the shootout, there's this uh, little lanyard hole here. And some of the shootouts previously had glass breakers. I know that this color in particular never had a glass breaker. And I know it's not supposed to come with one. So if this came with a glass breaker, I'd know it's fake. Those are just some more of the, the minor details that don't really come on every knife that you can, that you can look for. Um, now, when you get the knife, so let's say you get it and it, it gets shipped to you. Another thing that I'll check when I get it is the pivot screw. The pivot screw, I think every Benchmade with a pivot, so obviously not like they're out the fronts and stuff, but I think everyone with a pivot uses a T10 Torx um, pivot screw. So you can take your T10 bit, place it in there, see if it is in fact T10. Um, a lot of the fakes use T8, so T10 won't fit. Um, that's another big tell of the fake industry is, is does a T10 fit in there? It's not guaranteed. Uh, it doesn't, you know, necessarily mean your knife is real just because it's a T10, but the, the aggregation of all this, um, should help you feel a little bit better about making sure that your knife is authentic. Another thing to look for, let me show it on, I guess the, the grip tilling is a good one to show it on the grind lines on the, um, blade. You can kind of see like there's that, that laser, you can see the grind lines right there. That's usually a good tell of um, whether or not it's it's authentic. This, this steel from Benchmade, they have like very, very, very like it's, it's hard to show on camera, but they have very faint. Um, yeah, you can't even you can't even see on the camera, but they have very faint. If you look at it very close, you hold it very close to your face, you can see the milling and the the lasering that goes into the. Um, production of the actual blades. So that's another thing to look for. I've, I've heard that on a few fakes. Um, you can also just some more very small details to look at on the website and compare the, the axis lock on some of fakes will be just, just off slightly. It will look a little different than, you know, what it's supposed to look like. Like maybe the, um, maybe the, actual axis, like the, the crossbar will be filled in on when it's not supposed to be filled in. So we can see like on the tagged out, we have that right there, but on the Adamus, like there's like a deeper hole. Um, that's just the, the very minor details like that, that you need to pay attention to. Um, if it's a really good fake that it does happen. Um, so just, just something else to keep in mind. And I think, um, I'm trying to think of what else, those are, those are the main things that I look for. Um, again, just, just that attention to detail. Like I know the bailout is supposed to have a black thumb stud. I know the tag out is supposed to have an orange thumb stud. Um, I know, you know, the, the Adamus does not have thumb studs that are like the other bench maids. They have these like cone looking thumb studs. Um, just, just familiarize yourself with what you are trying to buy. And if you are trying to buy one on eBay or whatever, um, Ask what the model number is and see if you can look up pictures of it. If it's an older model, make sure you can look up pictures and make sure that it actually, in fact, was a production model at some point and you're you're not getting scammed for something that, that never really was produced. Um, like the Griptilian, 
there's a lot of these made that were in all kinds of different colors and, and um, materials and steels. So it's, it's a little harder in that case to know, okay, was this actually a, a model? Um, but there's a lot of uh, listings on eBay of just random colors and blades that are all thrown together. And it looks like people are buying them. And I don't know if they're aware of the fact that they're buying a fake bench made, but it's, it's just, again, something to make sure that you, you look at and keep in mind, um, just so you're not getting scammed and, and you're, you're spending your hard earned money correctly and how you think you're spending it. So, so I think that's, it's just really important that, you know, you, you do your research again, if you're spending bench made money on a knife, hopefully you're getting a discount, but they're still very high end expensive knives. Make sure that you're you're putting effort into it and time into it and not just, you know, throwing money at something when it could be a fake. Just be aware of the risks that you're taking and and um, make sure that you're purchasing something that you're okay with purchasing, whether it's a fake or or real one. Uh, but that should do it for, you know, kind of what I go through when I am purchasing a Benchmade knife. Um I, I didn't intend for this to be, you know, a 20 minute long video, but I, I hope this is helpful. I hope you found it helpful. If there's anything that I missed, please, please, please just comment it below or send me a message and I will definitely include it in the description or I'll even just remake the video and include it if I think it's really important. But I think that covers a lot of the big um, points that are found on fake bench maids and, and it's just, you know, be aware of all the different things that these, these fakes can, can do and, um, what the, the companies that are producing them can can do to make it look like a bench made. But again, just to reiterate, the box, make sure you know the box that you're looking for. The foam is the big part of the box. The butterfly logo is always a very easy tell. And the steel, if the steel is just incorrect or was never produced, that's, that's always um, something to look for. Um, but again, please let me know if, if I missed something. And um, I hope this helps somebody. I hope this is a, a reference point for you. If you're buying a Benchmade, you can come back and rewatch this and make sure that you're, you're checking off all the things off the list. And, um, yeah, thank you for watching and, um, enjoy the rest of your day and good luck with your Benchmade purchase.